Okay, welcome to Engineering Things. This is the first part in a series where I'm going to be discussing Pi Spice and its uses and how it can be used. Um, today, I'm just going to be uh, giving you a general introduction into Spice programs, Pi Spice, Python, and uh, a few things in between. Um, so let's get started. Um, the structure of uh, today's little talk will be discussing what a SPICE program is, looking at LTSPICE, um, then talking about netlists, ng-spice, Python, and finally how PySpice can integrate them as well as giving a little bit of installation advice. So, first of all, what is uh, SPICE? Well, SPICE stands for a simulation program with integrated circuit emphasis. Uh, they're often uh, general purpose, open source, analog, electronic circuit simulators. Uh, the key thing here being the open source. Um, these types of programs are often used to uh, design integrated circuits or board level designs. Um, and not only that, but also, you know, predict their behavior. Um, so they're very useful, very powerful tools. LT Spice is a commonly used Spice program. I've actually uh, used it when I was doing my degree. Um, it provides a graphical interface to place and connect components before running a simulation. Um, it has a very nice user-friendly uh, interface. I'd recommend if you want to do any uh, basic Spice simulations, that LT Spice is a good place to go. Um, and you can build circuits as you see below. Spice netlists, then, are the fundamental uh, circuit language that is used. So uh, below this sort of GUI interface, um, we have this, we use Spice Netflix, uh, Spice netlists, which provide us with a description of the circuit in text and various commands that go along with it. Um, so if you're actually using LT Spice, you can uh, press tools and output a Spice netlist, as you see below, um, such as this basic circuit here. Um, now, lower level, uh, more more basic forms of Spice actually just use these raw text files without a GUI. Uh, one such example of this is ng Spice. So ng Spice is an open sport, open source Spice simulator for electric and electronic circuits. It can be downloaded as a uh, .exe file or run on Win on Linux. Uh, directly on the command line. Um, it uses netlists and commands uh, to run simulations um, without using an overlaid GUI. Um, so you actually have to manually type out your circuit connections as you saw in the previous slide and then that can be used as the source file for the simulations to be run on. So a bit more bare bones, a bit more basic. Uh, just taking a slight uh, sidestep now, we're going to just look at Python. Um, you should probably, uh, you, you may be aware that Python is a very, very widely used programming language. Uh, it's a very powerful programming language. So the ability to be able to integrate a Spice simulator into Python could lead to many opportunities uh, and many possibilities in uh, using both in tandem. Um, and PySpice gives us the ability to do this. So PySpice is a free and open source uh, Python module uh, which uh, can interface Python to ng-spice. Um, so it really can provide us, you know, this this provide this this package this um, which can be pip installed provides a really really useful link between Python and ng-spice and allows us to integrate the two. Um, so it, uh, PySpice implements ng-spice, provides an object uh, API, um, and then the simulation outputs are converted to NumPy arrays, uh, which makes it very convenient. And uh, obviously a lot, or if not all, of the um, kudos for this needs to go to Fabrice Salvari, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, who has basically uh, developed PySpice um, and uh, has done an incredible job. So uh, kudos to him. Now, the uh, installation instructions for PySpice can be found on the website. Um, I'll link that below. 
Um, it can be installed. It can be installed on Windows, Mac, or Linux. My advice uh, is to use Linux if possible. Uh, it has uh, probably the simplest installation. Um, also, Linux can provide several advantages over Windows, such as a much faster multiprocessing. If that's something you're interested in. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, you also need to make sure that you download and install NG Spice. Um, this uh, you need to make sure that you're using a supported version of NG Spice. Currently, I believe uh, only up to version 32 is supported. However, the, the most recent version is version 33. So just be aware when you're installing these things uh, that uh, the latest version might not be supported. Um, yes. Uh, and then finally, um, for the, these tutorial videos, I am going to be using using Python 3.8.5. I'm using ng-spice version 31 and uh, pyspice 1.4.3. Um, so hopefully this has given you a bit of a grounding into why it might be useful to uh, integrate a Spice program into Python. And uh, we're now going to go on to explore how we can use PySpice, um, starting off with the basics and then perhaps getting to um, some more advanced functionalities. Um, so yes, thank you very much for listening and uh, I'll see you in the next one.